But what I would like to place before your lordships the government's perspective. But what why the architecture of the MMDR Act is the way it is, and how it Im impacts the power of the state versus power of the centre. But before I do that, Malad, I want to make one thing very, very clear. Malad. Because the impression, Malad, which is unintentionally gathered is this. That this is kind of a federal issue between centre and the state and who has the legislative competence to levy. Malad, at the outset, I say, that is not the question here. But here, and as Malad, I will explain Malad, in a little more detail, with some facts, figures and statistics. The, the, the way Malod MMDRA works and it is intended to work as a limitation is this one. It is not a fact in dispute that the mineral rights and the ownership of mineral waste with the states and therefore every penny of royalty goes to the state government. Lord, if a lot of would not like to Lord, uh, write down, Lord, I have the propositions also, my Lord. Okay. At the end, my Lord, I can give the propositions. Yes. But just my Lord, uh, to make it more convenient uh, for your Lord, my Lord. My Lord, every penny goes. The state government grants the lease. The lease deed format is provided in the central statute. Yes. The state government collects the royalty. The royalty figure is fixed by the central government. The state government appropriates that royalty amount with other amounts which I will show as a part of its consolidated fund. So these are not the facts which are in dispute or which can be in dispute. Yes. Now, Lord, why the center discharges the function of only fixing the rate of royalty qua each mineral? There are several factors, Lord, which I will show, but broadly. To ensure uniformity in the price structure throughout the country. Yes. And Malod, our domestic price structure will have to take into consideration two factors. I am just giving a broad overview. One, the domestic requirement, which can only be decided at the central level. And second, since the royalty has a direct nexus with the price of each mineral, we will have to be very, very careful and conscious about the global market qua that mineral. If that mineral is cheaper somewhere else, people would start importing Indian domestic users and vice versa. So it directly impacts the import export. I, I will not go that uh, go into the details. But next and the most important thing. But as I would show, my lord, from one report, which is report uh, prepared, my lord, every three years, you know, your lordships are aware, section 9 provides that the royalty will, uh, the rates of royalty would be changed every three years. So, my lord, there is a report prepared. My lord, it was really heartening to know yes. a classic example of cooperative and collaborative federalism. So what the central government does, your lordship did not write, Lord, in my note, your lordship would find everything. We call for the views from all stakeholders. Stakeholders would mean industries, stakeholder would mean people who are going to be affected by the industries because ultimately we have to protect the environment as well and essentially and more importantly, the state governments. I'll show a lot from the last report of 2019 that the state very effectively involved in the process. They say that this particular uh, mineral, bauxite, please increase it by 2% because this is our revenue generation. These are the reasons why it should be something more. Then, then the, the, the subgroup, after receiving Malod, all these detailed inputs, examines what are the global scenario, what will be the impact on the export-import, all these minerals are required for the core industrial sector of the domestic market. That is taken into consideration. The core industrial sector is the heartbeat of any economy. So that is considered and I will, I will show that to your lordships. And thereafter, with reasons why the state's request is either accepted or not accepted, 
मतलब ए प्राइस इज फिक्स क्वा इच मिनरल एंड देर आफ्टर द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज आउट ऑफ इट अब यू कलेक्ट यू अप्रोप्रिएट यू डू वॉट एवर वेलफेयर एक्टिविटीज यू वॉन्ट टू डू इन योर स्टेट द ओनली डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन द पार्टीज मलोड इन दीज प्रोसीडिंग इज आफ्टर हैविंग मलोड इट इज अवर केस दैट वेन वी डिसाइड द अमाउंट ऑफ रॉयल्टी द फिगर ऑफ रॉयल्टी दैट इज ऑल इंक्लूसिव टेकिंग इन टू कंसिडरेशन ऑल योर रिक्वायरमेंट वॉट द स्टेट से दैट ओवर एंड अबो द रॉयल्टी we can independently levy certain amount under various names what we believe and what my lord the act perceives the objective of the act is that and my lord whatever i am saying my lord i'll be able to make good from my lord the record so suppose iron ore or bauxite some amount is fixed say 100 rupee per ton or per whatever my lord uh, there, there are my lord pits mouth value etc that also was argued but i'll show that's not relevant for this purpose so the amount comes to say 1000 per ton I'm giving a bilkul absolutely hypothetical uh, example they say that every state will have a power to levy something more than 100 uh, more than 1000 we say no it is all inclusive and the reason is this if every state start imposing further levy in some case it would be 1500 per ton in some case it would be only 1000 per ton in some state it would be 1100 per ton the uniformity of the prices will not be maintained and i want to flag my lord that issue before my lord i take your lordship to this my lord mr solicitor as you are pro- you are formulating your thoughts and you have given the example of bauxite and you say that this rate that is determining and you said that this is done after elaborate consultation with the stakeholders including state and then you say the state is trying to extract over and above the all inclusive price that which you are suggesting to us that's correct now taking a cue from the example of bauxite have you not boxed in the state so far as exercise of their power under 50 entry 50 list to i i could not understand the last you see i have said that we have boxed in everything in and everything so where does the state have the power to exercise under entry 50 their power of that, that's my my lord respectful submission that the entire architecture of mmrda under which this box price inclusive of everything is fixed is a limitation on the state's uh, legislative power under 50 but it's totally denuded you see so it's that's my respectful submission no, correct but otherwise i'll just give an example my lord how how my lord why why this creates a problem why should the uh, i mean just asking of course uh, you are just on the starting point yes, yes my lord why should the uh, the act the statute not say that uh, this is what the tax that the union is charging and to this this extend the power is denuded or something to that effect why are we asked to uh, read this by inference but uh, my my lord legal submission would be different my lord we also have the situation of uh, i mean i was just discussing express article 265 i am merely fixing the rule that's when which will be forthcoming it is the it is there my lord it's invalid text my lord invalid it would be unconstitutional but but i'll be able to show that there is an inbuilt statutory mechanism which says that this amount and nothing more otherwise my lord what happens just give i am of course example would not my lord be the basis for your lordship to decide but i am just giving an example the rationale why my lord this is under the central uh, control the, the fixation lord suppose there are two states a and b a has my lord an uh, electricity generation station of a huge capacity they are using coal as a uh, raw material b has raw material mines my lord then namely the coal mines they say that in over and above 1000 rupee which is the uh, royalty fixed by the central government my lord i'll give examples in many states pre uh, my lord india segments uh, other says education says different nomenclature was 300% royalty 500% royalty etc etc so that state a having the electricity generation 
uh, plant will have to either pay more from uh, state B because every state has a different uh, price structures. But Mr. Solicitor, that is implicit in the federal scheme. You see, therefore, unless you say that, look, when you fix, as you call it, an all-inclusive royalty, that royalty includes all taxes also that can be levied by the sure. state. You have to go as far as to as Correct far as Manu. to establish that Correct, that the fixation of royalty Sir. is is itself inclusive of all taxes, state and taxes. Nothing more. That's one. Second, you know, your argument that well, it's desirable that there should be uniformity of the price of minerals. It may be a desirable it may be it's a desirable matter as a matter of policy. Question is whether this will impinge upon the federal distribution of power under the constitution. Now take another case. Look at there are several taxes which the states can levy under the state list. My lords. I'll just give you two examples. Entry 53 of list 2, taxes on the consumption or sale of electricity. Right? Now in various industries, uh, electricity is not just a medium, but it's a raw material. For instance, in the production of steel iron and steel industry. Electricity itself is a raw material. Yeah. You know, it's now, part of the price structure also. Right. And now the constitution contemplates that each individual state can levy a tax on the consumption and sale of electricity. Now, different states levying taxes at a different rate on the consumption and sale of electricity will meet with the same argument that you are, uh, are urging that in Maharashtra may impose it at a different rate, Karnataka may do it at a different rate, a solar plant in Rajasthan may do it at a different rate. But that's part of the federal scheme. Or take entry 54, right. taxes on sale and sale of petroleum crude, high-speed diesel. High-speed diesel is crucial for industry. Uh, motor spirit, natural gas. So if you are consuming natural gas from, say, which comes in from Jamnagar, different rate altogether. If you are importing natural gas, which has come in through, say, a crude pipeline, a gas pipeline, say, uh, in Chennai, completely different rate. That's exactly the scheme of the constitution. Min that and, and there is nothing swai generis about minerals, that there should be a uniformity. Now the same logic will apply to electricity, have the same rate of electricity, same taxes for electricity. Ignore that example and I'll give the answer. I'll give the answer. In other entries like electricity or entry 54 list 2, there is no provision like entry 50 that's subject to limitations placed by the parliament under 54. 